enjoying themselves for a little bit while they're there. That's awesome. I'm actually really happy to see there's something like that. Yeah, yeah. it's cool. I'd never heard of it. Like they even do like play <laughs> procedures sometimes if the kid is curious about what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. They'll they'll go play act through it like they'll have some devices that they they can show and they'll talk about them in terms that the kid can understand and then they'll try to make it seem less scary. Wow. And they'll maybe do it on like a doll or a t- or something like that, and say, you know, here's what we're gonna do, and then you'll be just fine, and you know, it'll help you feel better and all this stuff. Cool. So it takes, it's just trying to make the kids stay better. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, careful. <laughs> that Medusa got you. Stuck. <laughs> Stupid you know, Medusa always kills me. What? Kage Kames have like the most death I think of any enemy. These things? Those black things that we were fighting back there. The oh. black thing. It's like a black thing with a white face and it shoots out confused things and that's what opens the manor to Lord Ruffin, your favorite. Oh, I love him. So <laughs> my favorite. I was just I was just reading up on stuff yesterday and I was like, Oh, I didn't know Kage Kame had like a ton of def- defense. I think it's like hundred and twenty or hundred and thirty or something ridiculous. Yeah, it's something crazy. It's like, eh. Or something new every day. Yeah. <laughs> oh, level 18. You're so close. And we're in the Highlands, which is a good place where you can get pretty good experience. As long as you get dense packs of these ninja looking enemies and stuff like that. nice there's a train yeah that is nice I mean uh, some cooperative behavior to benefit everyone yeah it trivializes some content but in the end it's like it's not it's just so people can get to 20 faster and then go do other stuff especially when you have to roll try to get a good you know, stat roll on your level 20 before you start feeding pots. Yeah. Some people spend a lot of time trying to do that. Snake bit. Woo. Where am I now? Right here. Let's do this. Yeah. Snake bit has decent uh, experience too. Like, not these guys. The little snakes don't give us much at all. Mm-hmm. But these bigger guys will help us. I love my Saturdays at work. Two hours of playing the game. <laughs> no, that's good, yeah. Yeah. I, I think that's fun. <laughs> no, totally. I wish I could do it more. Um, I just can't do this at work because yeah. I can't really chat. True. Yes. You wouldn't want anyone to hear our secrets. No. Special gaming secrets. <laughs> yeah, all the tips and tricks that we don't want anyone to know. Right. But that's you know what's funny is like, in a game like this where there's no PvP, it's like there's no reason not to tell everyone else how to do the game the best they can. You know, I kind of yeah. think that's cool. Funny thing is, I'm never told anything. I'm never told anything. So <laughs> I find out after you guys sometimes. Whoa, motherfucker. What about things that happen in the game, or? Yeah, I didn't know testing was going down until like right before it. <laughs> Peter's like, um, "Can you write this forum post about testing going down? Oh, when's testing going down? Oh, yeah, in like five minutes." Oh um, yeah, I think we just got it like a Skype <laughs> chat message about it. Like, hey, by the way, testing's gonna be going up, so be ready for that. Right, we're like, right. oh, whoa, okay. <laughs> Told the same time I was. <laughs> Probably yeah. <laughs> like cool. All right. Uh, I mean, not that that really. No, I understand. There's a lot of blinds that are up in in a big group where there's a lot of um, trying to keep people like on task, and then the other thing is like they don't want to leak information accidentally anywhere else because who knows if they change the information? Like it'll if they change it, it won't matter what they said, you know. And that's just it. Things change all the time. So. So yeah. Yeah. It'd just be needless if you told everyone everything that you're doing at all times, because then 
people will be like, okay, wait, did you change it to this or that? I can't remember. You told us at one point, the one right. or the other. And they're like, no, we ended up deciding on this. And they're like, oh, I just can't keep it all straight. So what's the thing that, to, how do you beat this thing? Just shoot it. Oh, like, so for her, these guys that come out, you don't even waste time shooting them because they have so much HP. Uh, and they will slow you with those shots they put out that look like, actually they look just like the bullets you shoot out of your astral or your um, sea wand. Uh -huh. And those will slow you. So you n normally if you're like not maxed, then you don't want to get slowed because then it's harder to dodge. And she uh, she starts out where you can just shoot at her, and she has periods of invulnerability, so it's like you're probably... I mean, keep that in mind if you're going to use a spell or something else, but otherwise you can just spam your, like, staff or your dagger or whatever into her. Mm -hmm. And then she starts off by just shooting off four sets of two daggers that, like, slowly spread apart. And uh, those things hit really hard, so you just try to stay between them. And she kind of aims them. She shoots them out, then she shifts where they're going to shoot out from, and then she shoots them again, so you can't just stand in one place. You have to move over after her first time. What's her name? Uh, Stheno. It's like S-T-H-E-N-O. Stheno. <laughs> Is she a sister to Thessal? I don't know. That's lore that we could create, though. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny. God. Yeah, sisters yeah. and Arachna's female too, so Ooh. she can join in. Although it's like a spider. <laughs> yeah, that might be weird. Yeah. But uh, yeah, and then after that, that dagger throwing stuff, then she goes into a phase where she spawns uh, little snakes, and uh, she shoots daggers still but in a different pattern and then she stops spawning little snakes and moving around and she sits still and she shoots out all those white balls in like a spiral pattern if you're if you're circling with her or just out straight if you're not moving and she shoots little red grenades kind of like Medusa mm -hmm. they don't hit as hard but you still want to avoid them and wait which, which one are you in? where are we? I'm in uh we're in Cyclops. Uh, oh. I'm still in the uh, snake pit because this guy wanted to look for oh. treasure rooms or something. Okay, I'm out in the uh, thingy. Oh, I'll come out in one second. We're pretty much done looking. It's no nothing else. And then after that, it goes, after she's done shooting bombs and big white snowballs, then she goes back to <laughs> start. So just three phases. Yeah. Do, do, do. Are you level 20? Or 19? Okay, 19. so we're close. We'll hit 20. Slimes. Okay, so a long time ago, uh, slimes used to be more plentiful, and they would spawn kind of like, you know the c Sandman conventions that sometimes occur in, in these current builds where sometimes in the desert you go out and you're like, whoa, there's a ton of crabs and a ton of those little uh, Sandmen and like, you know, those little confused shooting things. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, uh, that can happen with the green slimes. It was so much fun. You'd come in and there'd be like 50 of them on the screen and they'd, and then when you kill them, those little slimes come out. So then it's like hundreds of those little slimes and it's just a ton of experience and it was so fun. Nice. I love it. We don't get those anymore, sadly. It's mostly, happened, you just find, yeah. I don't know, it's like spawning behavior that they really didn't plan for is kind of emergent behavior yeah. and it was awesome when it happened but now slime fields are gone you you might find like a few slimes around each other and it, actually a cool thing you can do is if you want to really track down slimes you kill the big slime but then you don't kill the little ones the little ones will will slowly crawl towards the another big one wherever it is near if it's nearby 
Nice. So you just follow the little ones to the next big one, kill that one. You can sometimes chain together, you know, five.